Hello everyone. Today we are going to solve one marks question. So our first question is state with the reason whether the equation 3x square minus 7y is equals to 13 is a linear equation with two variable or not. So first of all we are going to solve this equation. So as we know that 3x square minus 7y is equals to 13 this equation is given and we have to identify this equation is linear equation into variable or not so the standard form of our linear equation into variable is ax plus by is equals to c as we know that the power of x and power of y should be 1 but in this equation the power of x is 2 and the power of y is 1 so due to this that power of x is 2 this is not a linear equation in two variable its power should be 1 if it is linear equation in two variable so the given equation is not the linear equation in two variable now our next question is Show the condition using variable x and y, two number differs by 3. So here it is given that x and y is the variable and they differ by 3. We get two conditions here. If x minus y is equals to 3, then x should be greater than y or else if y minus x is equals to 3 then y should be greater than x so this is the answer here next question question number 3 for the equation 4x plus 5y is equals to 20 find y when x is equals to 0 so the given equation is 4x plus 5y is equals to 20 and x is equals to 0 so we have to substitute the value of x in this equation so we are going to substitute 4 into 0 plus 5y is equals to 20 so 4 zeros are 0 plus 5y is equals to 20 then 20 upon 5 is equals to y because when this y gets uh, sorry this 5 get shipped over there it becomes divided so 5 ones are 5 5 fours are 20 so value of y is equals to 4 if x is equals to 0 then the value of y is equals to 4 next question number fifth write any two solution of the equation x plus y is equals to 7 so equation is x plus y is equals to 7 so we can write 6 plus 1 is equals to 7 means x is equals to 6 and y is equals to 1 or else 5 plus 2 is equals to 7 means x is equals to 5 and y is equals to 2 or else 4 plus 3 x is equals to 4 and y is equals to 3 is equals to 7 or else 3 plus 3 is it 3 plus 4 or 2 plus 5 is equals to 7 means here x is equals to 3 and y is equals to 4 so these were the possible equation according to given condition now question number fifth decide whether 0 2 is the solution of the equation now here the equation is given 5x plus 3y is equals to 6 and the solution is given 0 and 2. We have to consider 0 as x and y 2 as y. So we are going to substitute the value of x and y. Does we get the number 6 or not we are going to see it. So 5 into 0 plus 3 into 2 is equals to 6 or not. 5 zeros are 0 plus 3 twos are 6. 
so six is equals to six rhs is equals to lhs hence zero and two is the solution of equation now the next question is question number six write any two solution of the equation we have to write any two solution of the equation now we are going to solve question number six write any two solution of the equation a minus b is equals to minus three so what we are going to write here a minus b is equals to minus three so first of all we are going to write here the value of a and b whose subtraction become minus three so three minus six is equals to minus three means three is positive here and minus six so plus minus minus and the bigger number sign minus three this is the one solution and next solution six minus nine is equals to minus three this is the two solution for the equation means if a is equals to three and b is equals to minus six then we get minus three if a is equals to six positive six and b is equals to negative nine then we get the solution or operation minus three next question question number seven if x plus 2y is equals to 6 and 2x plus y is equals to 7 then find the value of x plus y okay we are going to write here the equation x plus 2y is equals to 5 and 2x plus y is equals to 7 then if you are going to add it it becomes 5 plus 7 12 2 plus y 3y and 3x then if we are going to divide this equation by 3 then we get x plus y we are going to divide this equation by 4 sorry 3 then we get x plus y is equals to 4 so the value of x plus y is equals to 4 next question question number eight if dx is equals to 24 and x is equals to minus 3 find the value of d as we know that the formula x is equals to dx by d so we know the value of dx and x we have to find the value of d so we are going to substitute 3 is minus 3 is equals to 24 upon d so as we know that we came to know d is equals to 24 upon minus 3 3 ones are 3 3 eights are 24 then d is equals to minus 8 the value of d is minus 8 question number 9 the cost of the book is 5 rupees more than the toys. The cost of pen. Show this using linear equation by taking cost of book X and cost of pen Y. So book cost X and pen. B is equals to X means books is equals to X or pen is equal to Y. So according to the condition the cost of book is 5 rupees more than the toys of the cost of a pen. So x means the cost of book is equal to 5 more means plus 5 and toys the cost of pen. So 2y. So according to this condition we can make a linear equation into variable x. This 2y is positive so it becomes negative over here is equals to pi. Means we get the equation ax plus 
by is equals to c so this is the standard form of the equation x minus 2y is equals to 5 and we have shown it by using linear equation into variable now last question question number 10 if a by 4 plus b by 3 is equals to 4 then write the equation in standard form we have to write the equation in standard form so a by 4 plus b by 3 is equals to 4 so what we are going to do we are going to multiply this 3 by 4 and this 4 by 3 so a into 3 b into 3 plus b into 4 upon 4 into 3 is equals to 4 so what we are going to get Three a upon twelve plus four b upon twelve is equals to four. Again, we have the common denominator, so we are going to write three a plus four b upon twelve is equals to four. So we know. This 12 is divided from here. We are going to shift here. It becomes multiplied. Then 4 into 12. It becomes 3a plus 4b is equals to 48. 12 for 48. And we know the standard form of equation. This is the standard form of equation or else we can write 3a plus 4b minus 48 is equals to 0. So in this manner we have solved all 10 question, 1 mark 10 question from our question bank of first chapter that is linear equation into variable. In our next video we are going to discuss about question number 2a that complete the following activity on the basis of linear equation into variable so thank you friends for watching my video